Alright, here we go. A little more Nightmare Troubadour. We're gonna buy some packs today. You guys ready? Check that red eyes out. Ha! Go, Magazeller! Now I play Red Eyes Black Dragon! Get ready because your party's about to get crashed! <laughs> Those who defend together are destroyed together, chump! <laughs> All right, time for the recording. Let's calm down. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Welcome back to Flintmon 14's Let's Play by me, Flintmon 14. So, let's uh, check the mail real quick. So, uh... Yeah, um, you guys should have seen about, like, uh, four or five episodes before this, with, uh, no commentary, uh, thankfully, okay, no new mail, but, uh, let me just show you guys something here, thankfully in one of those recording sessions, we were able to, yeah, we were able to successfully, uh, register a new duelist, and his name is Mako, so yeah, as you see, we now have, you know, by the, uh, the emerald symbol down there, you can tell that, yeah, we now have Mako Tsunami. Ha! Good job, land lover! Yeah, we have him registered as a duelist now, so that is good. Uh, but like I said, today, uh, let me make sure which deck we have, but today we're gonna go buy some packs. We're gonna go buy some packs. So I got the Luster Soldier deck. That'll work, that'll work. Not sure what deck I was using at the end of the recording session, but... Buster Soldier will work. So, we're gonna buy some packs, and I'm gonna do, you know, the rest of the episode with commentary, and, um, also I'll do the next episode with commentary as well. A little bit of a break with commentary, you know, just to check in with you guys, see how you guys are doing. Uh, today is, uh, June 29th, 2022. Uh, 86 of this. We got, uh, 56, 48. We got plenty of, uh, Kyber Corp points, so... Let's just get into it. Archeo Radius is new. Good, good. That's mostly what we want to see at this point. Um, there are a couple key cards. Oh, we got Perfectly Ultimate Great Mom. That's awesome. There are a couple key cards we are looking for, but... Um, honestly, it's really just up to chance as far as us getting them, so... Not really gonna go... Wow, another Ultra Gaia the Dragon Champion. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, now the cards we're looking for out of here, I think we're looking for Exodia pieces. So, I'm only gonna be trying like two of these at a time, and if we don't get the piece we want, gonna be done, basically. Yeah, see, like, that's a common, so... Yeah, um, and I ultimately do want to get all of the Exodia pieces in order to, of course, try the Exodia finish bonus, because, as you can imagine, there is a bonus in this game if you summon Exodia, the forbidden one. Anyway, Legendary History. Ooh, another giant true name. That's good. That's really good. I don't know how many we have, but uh, a second one is good. Is it limited in this game? I don't think it is. I don't think Giant True Name is lim limited. Salamandra! I summon Beta, the Magnet Warrior. Uh, we'll open one more. No, no rares out of this one yet. We got pretty lucky in those first two packs that we opened, though. Now I play Regulation of Tribe. This will stop uh, your boss reader from attacking Joey directly. Card destruction. Uh, I kind of like that Yugi used uh, card destruction starting in Battle City. <laughs> and it was funny. He started using it right after the Exodia duel, you know, versus the Rare Hunter. And basically, what I like most about card destruction in the anime, it was basically an anti cheating device. You know, anytime Yugi, uh, Yami Yugi suspected that, you know, his opponent might be cheating or that they, you know, rigged their hand or, or anything like that. And plus, I guess it does ca hard counter Exodia, too. There's that. But, uh, yeah, anytime he suspected... Ooh, a super rare monster relief. Yeah, anytime he su suspected them of cheating, he would basically play card destruction. 
I like it. I like it. So check this out. Yeah. Uh, this is a card Yami Merrick used in his duel against Joey in the Battle City Finals. Uh, it can be activated when your opponent attacks during their battle step. Return one monster on your field to your hand, and then you, after that, you special summon one level 4 monster from your hand. Pretty good card. Also, New Doria is good. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure Mystic Space, Mystical Space Typhoon's in this pack. So we will buy like six or seven of this pack. Unless we get it early, of course. Excavation of Mage Stones is good. I think we only had one of this, so glad we got another. Let's try the very bottom right pack. Oh man, I really want MST. You guys have no idea. I really, really, really want it. Jam Breeding Machine is new, though. Now I shall create the first of many slime tokens in order to summon my Egyptian god card, Cypher the Sky Tree. Alright, so how many packs of this is this now? I don't know. And it's funny, Excavation of Magical Stones, the name of this in the anime was actually like mining for magical stones. This, it was a really weird, uh, a really weird name from what I remember. I had two commons in the last packs, that kind of sucks, but hopefully we'll get MST. Visor Deaths is new, interesting. Uh, yeah, check this out. On, basically, when this is summoned, you target a monster. This card can't be destroyed until the targeted monster you declare is destroyed by uh, by Zerdes's effect. And yet, on your third standby phase, after successfully summoning this card, destroy the targeted monster. Any damage is applied normally. Pretty good card, pretty good card. Of course, there are ways around this to where Visor Disc can be destroyed in metal, like if they tribute the monster for a tribute summon. That's kind of bad, but you can always play this with Master Restrict, and that really does help um, reduce some of the vulnerabilities of that card. Or you can play better cards that can be destroyed in battle, like I'm, I'm pretty sure Marshmallows in this game. Have we gotten that yet? I don't think we have, but that's a pretty good card. I think we only had one Spear Dragon, so that's good. But uh, yeah, uh, Marshmallow is in this game, I'm pretty sure, and uh, as is Spear Reaper, so. There are better, better battle, you know, stoppers, but anyway, card of safe return. Oh man, we opened like four commons. Well, we might as well open the last two, because I know an ultra rare is here somewhere. So, man, we just had bad luck picking. Please, MST. Yes! Yes! Oh, it feels so good. Check it out. Mystical Space Typhoon. Very simple. Destroy one spell or trap on the field. And I'm pretty sure the last card's a super rare, so let's go ahead and open the last pack. I'm pretty sure, if I was keeping track right. Either way, another Rocket Warrior's good. Uh, oh, no, it was a regular rare. Strike Ninja. Strike Ninja is... There are some decks based around this card. And as you guys know, Return of the Different Dimension is... Uh, it's at three in this game. Might be something to consider there. Strike Ninja Turbo. Combination attack. Good. Good card. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Go. Ultimate the boss. Oh, I'm sorry. Neutron Blast Attack. <laughs> I think both names sound, sound cool for ultimate. And that was an ultra, right? Okay, this will be probably be the last pack we open. No, no, wait. There is a card I'm looking for out of here. Now, one of these XYZ pieces, we only have, uh, you know what? Let me stop here. I'll check my uh, trunk after this, uh, because uh, one of those pieces, we only have uh, two of them. In fact, I think, two of those pieces. We really only have two of now that I think of it. Uh, a common. That sucks. We'll try one more of this. I think we basically got everything we want out of this. We already got three DD Assailant and we got BLS, so not really too much else I'm looking for in this one. Oh, another common? Ah, uh, we'll open one more. We'll open one more. Surely we can pull a rare. Surely we can get one. Maybe an ultra rare. Maybe. Maybe an ultra that's not BLS, because I, I want a new card. Okay, chain disappearance, okay. We got a rare card, guys. We got one. Uh, this one's interesting. Yeah, remove from play the... Yeah, so this is kind of like chain summoning, except tougher restrictions. Uh, but if you can pull it off, it is stronger. Oops, I did not mean to buy this pack. Yeah. I hope we don't waste the VP on this. 150? Oh, we did not waste it, wow. 
Second United We Stand. I'm pretty sure that's limited, though, so... Uh, anyway, yeah, we don't have Chaos Emperor Dragon, so let's try to buy, yeah, like, six or seven of these. Six or seven. Until we get the Ultra Rare. Deck Devastation Virus. <laughs> now, it's funny. Crush Card's actually glitched in this game, and this name shares the name with Crush Card Virus. Crush Card Virus is incorrectly named this card is correctly named. Yeah, Deck Devastation Virus. Tribute a Dark Monster with an attack of 2,000 or more, so it's kind of the opposite of Crush Card. And uh, it is in many ways. Check all monsters on your opponent's side of the field, all cards in your opponent's hand, and all card he or she draws during the next three turns, and destroy all monsters with an attack of 1,500 or less. Uh, Crush Card destroys attacks of 1,500 or more. So ultimately, well, it depends on what kind of deck you're facing. I'll just say that. Regardless, the information is priceless, and um, you're probably gonna hit, you know, over three. Oh, holy crap, we did it, guys! Now we, now I summon my Chaos Emperor Dragon on VFDN. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, to wrap up my opinion on Deck Devastation Virus, whichever one you use, Crush Card or Deck Devastation, you're probably going to hit three or four cards regardless, so both are good in their own ways. Anyway, I gotta go over this. Special summon it by banishing one light and one dark monster. Pay dragon type, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. Pay a grand of your life points to see it in all... And this is Power Crept uh, AF. And this is pre errata so this isn't the trash. Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. As we know today, no, this is pre errata baby, in all of its glory. Pay 1,000 of your life points to send, you don't even discard, send all cards in both players' hands and on the field to the graveyard. Inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each card sent to the graveyard by this effect. This card's so powerful, it can win the game on its own, man. It is that good. It is that good. Alright, and we're probably... We're pretty low on this one. Oh, uh, Fuber and Kazan is interesting. Covering Fire is honestly better than you might think. Honestly better than you might think. Also really like the artwork. So we got 73% on this. Um, I'll try like three more packs. I, I really just want the pack list for this one before I really commit to more. Art of Decoy, common card, but it is good, yeah. Target a ninja. Uh, the face up monster is not destroyed as a result of battle. Damage is applied normally, so pretty good card in a ninja deck. And there are there are some high level ninjas in this game, like Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, um, Strike Ninja, which we just oh crap, today's our lucky day, guys. Oh my god, Chaos Emperor Dragon and Ring of Destruction. <laughs> Now I activate Ring of Destruction. This will destroy our monster and inflict damage to both of us. But now I play Ring of Defense. <laughs> this will protect my life points. Oh, that is so awesome. And I'm pretty sure Ring of Destruction is legal in this game. Woo! Definitely glad we decided to take a break from the grinding. Hi, Zed. Hi, Grandpa. I'm in a good mood today. You have a lot of cards. Yes, I do. Let me give you these leaves as a present. I know you can collect them all. Got a list of the Forever Ones. Okay, so two things. Let me check the card list of Forever Ones. And then let me check to see how many XYZs I got. Uh, not, not exceeds. No, not the, not the new cards. Not the Black Border cards. Uh, X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, and Z Melting. Okay, so we're missing Berserk Gorilla, Exodia Necros. I wonder if there's probably a bonus for summoning that, so might want to try to get that. Back to square one. Pretty good card. Brain controls in here. Okay. Okay, well, we'll buy some more of this pack another day. Refusion. Absolute in. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Interesting. Kazaki Self Destruct Button. Mine Hacks. Oh, I'm sorry. Mine Hazor. And Spirit Barrier. Spirit Barrier is good. And I think Astral Barrier is in this pack, right? Yeah! There's actually a little combo with Astral Barrier and Spirit Barrier. Uh, Spirit Barrier, it's a continuous, as long as a monster's on your field, you take no damage, battle damage. And uh, Astral Barrier, if a monster's attacked on your field, you can make the direct attack, the attack a direct attack. So basically with the double barrier combo, you can make all of your opponent's direct attacks, and then you have Spirit Barrier, 
so you take no damage. Pretty good combo. And yeah, there's our beautiful Ring of Destruction. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, whoops, I meant to check the uh, XYZs. Okay, hang on. I didn't forget, guys, I didn't forget. Deck Construction, all right, let's do it. So let's go to the trunk here. And basically, it, I'm, I'm kind of glad we are checking for those, because all we have to do is scroll to the bottom. Okay, yeah, so that's one of the ones we're missing. Z Metal Tank, or we only have two. Y Dragon Head, we're good. Uh, we also need a couple of the Fusion. We're missing YZ Tank Dragon. And also I'd like, you know, uh, three of each Fusion, of course, so. Okay, we did get the third XF Cannon, that's good. Okay, so I'm looking for the, the, uh, the third Z Metal and possibly some Fusion parts. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm actually gonna, those pulls we got were so good. I'm actually gonna head to the house and save. We're gonna save Scum a little bit. We're gonna head to the house and save real quick. And then I will head back and try for the Z tank as well as a couple fusions. And if we don't get them, we'll save Scum, try again. And then if we don't get them, we'll probably just, you know, reset, you know. So, no, no shame in my game, guys. No shame in my game. And honestly, if you're playing along with me, I highly encourage you to do the same. I mean, this game is pretty pretty hard, so, and you work hard for all those kind of card points, so, yeah, definitely save scum, definitely, save, save scum, like, you know, unless you're doing a Nuzlocke, I guess, <laughs> who, who would do that, who would do that in this game, uh, anyway, uh, let's see, so yeah, good day, we got MST, uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, and Ring of Destruction, wow! Oh, what a great day. Good, good, another fusion. Okay, I, I might I might save this regardless. Just having an extra of the main fusion, XYZ, and that is worth it, honestly, so. Oh, there we go, z metal tank, perfect, perfect. Okay, now shall I go for one more fusion? Yeah, I think I will. They're, they're base rares, so, you know, I'll open like, I'll open, this will be the last pack, this will be the last pack, but we'll save regardless. Final attack orders, Creature Swap, pretty good card, yeah, check this out. Both players select one monster from their respective sides of the field and switch control of those monsters. The selected monsters cannot change their battle positions this turn. Pretty solid card, pretty solid card. One of the best combos with that is, uh, and as you've seen from Rebecca, you can play scapegoat at three in this game. So one of the best combos with that is to, uh, yeah, uh, play a scapegoat on your opponent's in phase, switch your scapegoat to attack mode, and creature swap, yeah. And if they only have one monster, you get their strongest monster. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna save here, guys. And basically, that's pretty much gonna be the end of the episode. Of course, I'm gonna take a, quite a bit of a break, as you can imagine, to uh, you know facilitate all of those goody goody cards that we got, because uh, I do have quite a few decks. Um, I'll go ahead and facilitate one deck. I'll go ahead and edit this deck, Luster Soldier, and then that'll be the, I'm not really gonna commentate, but I'll just edit this deck, and then I'll edit the rest off screen, so. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all for joining me. I hope you're excited about the polls, just like I am. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a good day. This is a, this is a fun LP, man, I tell you. <laughs> oh man, all the grinding is worth it, man. All of it's worth it. Nice. Oh, so we got two ultimate now. Oh, but we only have one blue eyes? I should definitely try for more of these, okay. Alright, but anyway, CCC Chaos. Oh, it is forbidden, unfortunately. So yeah, you can't actually play this card to your deck in this game. Or can you? Hmm, stay tuned for more on that. Alright, MST. Creature Swap is good. Uh, do I have scapegoat in this deck? Let me check. I don't even know if I pull scapegoat. Let's see. Uh, no, I have not. That's a good card. Uh, ring. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful. And MS.
MST, Mystical Space Cycle. I guess since I don't have scapegoat, well, let's take a look at the monsters. What would I be okay creature swapping? I'd be okay with creature swapping Sinister Serpent. That, that seems like a good combo. That seems like a good combo. Also, Magician of Faith. Like, if creature swaps in the graveyard, you can flip Magician of Faith, get creature swap, swap it. That seems good. That seems good. Okay. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Alright. I was going to put it in the side, but yeah. Uh, also, we got Mystic Space, so where's Dust Tornado? Definitely gonna take, yeah, definitely gonna take one of these out. I might take both out. Oh yeah, didn't we get another giant true name too? Yeah, we did. Oh, we did, we did, we did, okay. Glad I remember that. Now I have to be giant true name. Who turns off cards on the field to the homeless hands? Scroll down. G. Can I have a G? Will. Oh, uh, fortune! There we go. Boom. Alright. Looking good. Alright. Okay, so looking pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and side this before we're returning alive. What can I take out? What can I take out? Um, maybe I don't need the seven tools now. Hmm. No, I kind of like seven tools in this deck though, because because it's so nice having seven tools when you have Black Cluster Soldier, because then you basically know you can clutch it out. You don't have to worry about Mirror Force or Negate Attack or yeah, I really do like seven tools in this deck. I really, really, really do. So, we'll leave it. Uh, I don't think there's anything I really want to take out. Maybe we'll take out one shrink card. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, because that'll give us... Let's check the spells and traps. So we got 55, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 traps, and tw that leaves us with uh, 27 monsters. I think that's a good balance. I think that's a good balance right there. Alright, so we'll save the rest of it. Luster Soldier is done. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's it for the deck editing. Thank you guys all for joining me for the, the bonus last few minutes. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to edit some of these other decks off screen. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Have an awesome day. Alright, this paradise.